This is Code Ode, and in this tutorial, I want to show you how to uh, use the Reflection API in PHP. What is the Reflection API? Well, when we talk about reflection in computer science, we talk about the ability of a program to inspect and change its code at uh, uh, the runtime. But when we talk about the Reflection API in PHP, we talk about the ability to inspect uh, a class or an object uh, to get uh, uh, information about that class uh, and that object. Of course, information related with that class or that object. For example, the properties, the methods, uh, the parameters of those methods, and even the data types. Well, in this tutorial, I want to show you uh, how to use the Reflection API to build the dependencies uh, required to, uh, for example, create uh, a user controller object. So we start with uh, creating our user controller class. I want to use this uh, as an example because uh, frameworks like uh, Larval uh, actually uh, use this Reflection API to solve uh, all the dependencies that uh, you may use uh, on the fly. So this is really interesting. So we have a constructor. Uh, this constructor uh, takes three parameters, validation, db, and mail. Then we need uh, to define three properties, protected validation, protected db and protected mail and we need to uh, set this uh, these properties this validation validation this db db and then this mail mail and now we have to define these uh, classes so we have class uh, validation an empty class then db and finally mail we want to keep uh, these classes empty uh, for now and now all we have to do is to create uh, an instance of this uh, user controller class so we say new user controller and of course we have to pass those uh, objects those uh, dependencies so new validation new db and finally new mail save and let's see the result in the browser perfect no errors okay now it's time to actually use the reflection API to inspect this class and uh, take all the required information about the dependencies of this class by inspecting the uh, constructor so let's create a new variable reflection and then we simply say new reflection class and uh, we pass uh, the name of the class that we want to inspect in our case user controller and we say class perfect now if we do a var dump on this reflection object let's see what we get so we have an object which is of type reflection class and this object has a property uh, the name of the class we want to inspect perfect now uh, this object has a very useful uh, method get constructor let's see what this method returns so it's actually returning an object of time reflection method. This uh, reflection method ob object is uh, used uh, uh, for the methods uh, when we want to get information about uh, the methods of a class. And then it's simply uh, telling us that uh, we have um, this construct method, uh, basically the name. We have uh, this uh, object reflection method with the property name. Okay, on now on this uh, reflection method, we can actually use uh, it has a very helpful uh, method get parameters parameters and uh, this method is actually going to return an array with all the parameters so let's see we have an array with three elements because we have three parameters 
uh, and every element is an object of type reflection parameter. You can see that the first one is validation, the name of the parameter, db and main. But uh, we are really interested of the data type of these parameters. So let's see. Now, on every single parameter, because every single parameter is, uh, let's see, once again, of type reflection parameter is an object, can actually use uh, a very helpful uh, method of this uh, object, and that is get type. Let's see the result. So this is actually right now returning an object of reflection named type. And uh, on this object, we can actually call the get name method uh, to give us the name uh, of the data type of that uh, parameter. So the first one is validation. And this is how we get uh, uh, all the information about the parameters of, an, uh, of a method so that we can actually build those dependencies for that method. And right now we want to keep things simple. We talk about only objects, concrete objects, no interfaces and so on. We can actually create, let's say right here, you know, we can create a class, let's say container. Then we can create a function, let's say build, build object. And this function takes a parameter, a class name. Perfect. Just a moment to move this from there. Okay. And now all we have to do is basically the same thing right here. Uh, reflection, new reflection uh, class, and we pass the class name. And then we need the parameters of, uh, the, of the constructor, and we say, let's say parameters reflection get construct constructor and then finally get parameters okay let's do a var dump right here parameters and now we can actually remove all of this create a new container new container container build object and we pass that the user controller uh, class the name of the class save and let's see the result in the browser perfect so we have um, those three parameters let's see view page source validation db and mail perfect now we need to use a for each so we say for each parameters as parameter now we need the name type so or basically the the name of the type of that parameter and we say let's see type name and then we simply say parameter because this, an, this is an object of reflection parameter and then we say get type and finally we say uh, get uh, uh, name perfect now that we have the name uh, right here we can create an uh, args array because we want to store all those dependencies in this array okay and we simply say args and we add a new element and say a new uh, type name and this is how we instantiate a new object of uh, that type because uh, as i have said right now we want to keep things simple and only work with concrete uh, objects okay after uh, this is done all we have to do is to return uh, our object our user controller object in this case so we say we use this reflection object and we say we call this method new uh, instance args and we pass the, that array uh, so that array with the, the dependencies and we are done you can actually set this in a variable user controller and we can do a var dump right here user uh, controller save and let's see the result in the browser perfect so we have our object user controller and then we have um, those properties validation is an object of validation and db is an object of db and mail is an object of mail and this is how frameworks like uh, larval use the reflection api uh, to um, inject on the fly those dependencies that you uh, need in your controllers so to say uh, when you need a model, uh, the request, uh, the response, and so on. 
well this is uh, the end of the part one uh, in part two uh, in the final video of this uh, tutorial uh, I want to show you how can we uh, create a uh, how can we uh, use the same object uh, multiple times uh, without the need to always uh, uh, create that object suppose uh, uh, we have um, for example the database connection uh, and uh, we want to use this uh, object uh, uh, everywhere uh, we do not want to always uh, create and recreate this object for every controller see you next time